As a professional landscape and travel photographer, being able to know exactly where I took my photos is very important. It helps with things like licensing agreements, and it also helps if I want to return to a place that I've been to before, just knowing exactly where it is and how to get back there. Now, back in the day, I had to use a combination of devices that would record my information, but it was never reliable. And then I'd have to take that information and manually sync it in Lightroom. It was just a big pain in the butt. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use my iPhone to automatically add the location information to every photo that I take on my Sony camera as I take it. So let's check it out. What's going on everyone, Brian Matias here. If you're new to this channel, I'd love it if you click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well so you get notified for all future videos. Now, I do think it is important to be able to know where you took your photos. A lot of times I'm in locations where I'm new to that area and I might wanna return and just knowing where I took the photos helps. Now, I'm not a fan of doing any sort of location sharing on social media when I share photos to Instagram, for example, I usually just tag the state or the country that I'm in. I don't put specific information because unfortunately we've seen too many situations where we just can't have nice things and people ruin uh, beautiful areas uh, because they want to get their own shots. But still, that doesn't mean that geotagging your photos is something that you shouldn't do. I, like I said, I do it all the time. And it used to actually kind of be a pain to get that location information onto your photos. It required, like I said, a few devices and syncing in Lightroom, and it wasn't ever really a perfect thing. But this solution uh, works beautifully. Now for this setup, I'm using Sony cameras. I've been shooting with Sony cameras for a while now. And in this example, I'm gonna use my Sony A7R Mark IV. I'm also an Apple iPhone user. Uh, so I'm using my iPhone 12 Pro Max, but this will work with Android devices as well. So uh, all your Android users out there, you're good to go. Again, though, uh, I, I don't know how it works with like Canon or Nikon or Fujifilm cameras, but uh, with Sony, this is a pretty rock solid process. So let's check it out. All right, so here you can see I've got my iPhone 12 Pro Max on the left and my Sony A7R Mark IV on the right. Now, the thing you'll have to do before anything is download Sony's Imaging Edge app. So just go to your App Store or your Google Play Store, search for Imaging Edge, and uh, you know that's what you'll need. So if we click it, there it is. And basically, the way it works is we're going to want to pair the phone to the camera over Bluetooth and then turn on a setting that will enable you to use the phone's GPS antenna to write the uh, geotag, the latitude and the longitude information onto each photo that's taken. And the really cool thing about this is that even if you don't have a uh, cell phone signal, you can be on airplane mode or you can just be in an area where you have no signal. This will still work because the GPS radio on the phone is independent of cell phone signal. So it's, it's wonderful, it always works. All right, so first thing we need to do is pair the phone to the camera, like I said, over Bluetooth. So the way to do this is we'll start on the camera and from the top, we're gonna go over to the networking settings. Then we'll go down and over to page two. Then we'll go down here to Bluetooth settings. Uh, and if it's off, which I think it is by default, we'll wanna turn that on. And now we're gonna want to pair. So we'll go down to pairing. And you'll see here, I renamed my uh, my camera. Pretty much every device that I have is some sort of Skynet because I'm obsessed with Terminator 2 and Terminator 1 actually, but not so much the other sequels. All right, now in the app on the iPhone, I'm gonna click over here, the location information linkage, and you can see it says the camera is not set. So let's click that. And it's not set because it doesn't have any pairing to a camera. So let's go ahead, we'll click this button here, set the camera. And then you can see that it's waiting for, there's that Skynet R4, we'll click that. And then on the camera, we'll click okay. And the camera is now paired. Now, sometimes on your iPhone, if you've never paired your phone to your camera before, you might get another screen uh, asking you if you wanna pair. Uh, so just click pair on that. It, it's, a, it's one of those iOS screens, so just be aware of that. Uh, but because I've paired it before, uh, I didn't have to go through that again. All right, so now I'll click back over here. We'll click back on the camera and we're gonna go back one more time. You'll see that um, the it's showing here that it's searching for camera and that's because you have to go to the next setting here which is location info link setting and then we'll have to turn that on. 
and boom, you see on the left, as soon as we did that, uh, it says connected with the camera. So now every time you take a photo, your iPhone's gonna use whatever GPS information it has as far as the location of the phone, and it's gonna write it to the image information uh, on the camera. And so now every time you take a new photo with your camera, your iPhone's automatically gonna write the GPS information into the metadata of that photo. It's really super cool. And just incidentally, I keep these two other options on as well, auto time correction and auto area adjustment, just because uh, especially if I'm traveling to other countries and different time zones, it's nice where I don't have to worry about changing the time zone information or the clock. And that way all of my photos are always synced. And just to show you, if I go to preview an image that I took, this is what it looks like when you have GPS information. So you might have just, uh, just a full image preview, which I normally do. So you'll want to press the, uh, on the uh, rotating wheel where it says display, you'll press up there and you'll see on the bottom left, the uh, geo information. Now this is a, a really famous area in Sandpoint, Idaho, this little Statue of Liberty. I don't feel really badly showing the information because it is a wildly popular tourist trap. Uh, and that's where it is if you were curious. All right, so that's pretty easy, right? And it, it works great. Now here's the cool thing. As long as you've got your phone on you, whether it's in your pocket or in your camera bag, every time you turn on your paired camera, it'll automatically make that Bluetooth connection and start writing the GPS information so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to wonder, oh, did I turn that setting on or off? And the best part on top of that is that I've noticed like no impact on battery drain on either the camera or the phone. And I've used this uh, workflow for entire days, just shooting from sunrise to sunset and not noticing any particular battery drain issue compared to when I don't use the GPS information. So definitely something to check out. Now remember, this is uh, currently for Sony cameras and it works with pretty much all of the modern Sony cameras, the a7 III, the a7R III, a7R IV, uh, the a9, and so on and so forth. So while the menus on the Sony system might be a little bit different, the functionality should be the same. So again, just download that Imaging Edge application from the App Store or the Play Store, and then establish the Bluetooth connection, turn on the location uh, info sharing setting, and you're good to go. And remember, just one thing, this is kind of the, the public service announcement. Be courteous, be conscientious about the location information that you share. If you're shooting at a wildly popular place like Multnomah Falls that everyone knows about, you're not gonna be able to hide that information. Everyone knows what that waterfall looks like. But if you are hiking through or you're at an area that's remote, don't share that information. People don't really need to know how to get there. Uh, and unfortunately, it's just been proven that we're just not good when we're given that information as a whole. I know it's a bummer, but just remember, just be conscientious about which location information you share. So what do you think? Is this something you can see yourselves doing? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, I'd love it if you click that subscribe button, the bell icon, so you get notified of all new videos and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. I'll see you on the next one.